The Premier League season is over. All be that United have an FA Cup final against Manchester City. It is time for us to look ahead and see who we should let go in our respective departments. That's why I'm doing a three-part series on the defending department, the military departments, and the attacking departments on who we should let go and who we should keep. So please like and subscribe because it does a massive help for the channel and let's get into it. Manchester United's defending departments or defensive departments has struggled this season with a lot of injuries. Now, it has been a hectic season and the season has come to an end. That is albeit, once I, like I said before, the FA Cup final. So today I was taking a look at who in that department suits the team, as in, in what Inyo plans the team to be in future, and who I think their yeah, time is up personally as a member of the Manchester United squad. And we start with the very first case of Rafael Varane. Now, Rafael Varane is a very easy case for me personally because he himself has said at the end of the season he is not renewing his contract, thereby leaving as a free agent. And we, the fans, have, have loved his impact and his time at the club, putting together that brilliant partnership with another World Cup winner, the Sandro Martinez. But we can all see why Ineos and United personally refuse or were reluctant to renew his contract. He was very injury prone and his availability was very very poor. So it's a very understa understandable case sorry, on why Rafa Varane is a free agent. And personally, I could not agree more with this situation. Up next, is another player who has struggled with availability and fitness in the name of Luke Shaw. Now, the English international on his day is amongst the top 10 left backs in the world. He has an incredible balance in attacking, defending, and build up. He's so well rounded and offensively, he has developed a very strong partnership with Marcus Rashford on the left hand side. Now, the issue with Shaw is this he is a very brilliant player, and when he's on the pitch, you can clearly see his effects and advantages. But once again, the availability is a major issue. It's a very major issue. And that is the only thing that, that, that is the only downside that is making me indecisive on this case. But I think the best solution for Luxor is you keep Luxor and also you invest in a young left back that has a high potential, which I think is the best case. So I think Luxor is a definite keep. Up next is Lissandro Martinez. And I personally think this is easy for everyone. He's a definite keep. Although this is in a struggle with a lot of unlucky injuries, I still do think he is an elite center back. His build up is immense. Not only that, his leadership in that defensive line has been greatly missed. There are certain games this season in which I watched and I think that if Lissandro Martinez was in that match, we're definitely not drawing or losing that match. He's a key figure in the dressing room and his leadership is greatly missed which means Lissandro Martinez is a definite key. Up next is Victor Lindelof, and I think this is quite easy for everyone. Lindelof has been a great servant for over the years, but this current season, he has been majorly flawed. Not only that, he has also suffered with a lot of availability issues. Lindelof has been a solid backup center back, and he has given his best for the club, but I personally think it's time for us to move on and look for the much better option in the transfer market. Up next, the big man, Harry Maguire. Now, if I asked you at the beginning of this season, would you keep Harry Maguire? Most definitely, most of us would have said no. But this season, he has been immense. Not just immense, he has been quality, outstanding. He has bounced back to his supreme, superb level. We are finally seeing that center back we bought years back for 80 million. He has been good. He has chipped him with some goals. He has made huge defensive performances. Kaimawai has been immense. But with all that being said, I still think his time in Old Trafford should come to an end. Because if you check it now, he's getting old. And if you notice, he has started to get a little bit more injury prone. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm seeing it. And I think it's about time we clear out the old the old heads, I'd rather say, and getting a new, a new, young, fresh blood in squad that will help much better. And now we're moving on to Diogo Dalot. And once again, this is actually the easiest 
the easiest decision I have to make. Definite, well-rounded, cheap because he, he has been our most custom player this season. In a season full of frustrations and irritations, Dalo has been the bright light, constantly putting top performances. He has been a, he has been our player of the season so far this season, and I think he's a definite keep. And now on to our deputy right back, Aaron Wan Bissaka. For me, I do personally think it's time to move on. Not in the sense that I'm knocking down Aaron Wan Bissaka's ability or quality, but I think it's time for a definite up upgrade in the right back department. If you look at Dalo, you can see a certain style of offensive quality, and he has also improved defensively. Wan Bissaka is just the same. Is defensively superb, but offensively, it doesn't offer that much once again. So we're looking to we're looking to make an upgrade to challenge for tr and trophies and challenge the upper teams that are the best teams. We need to upgrade our right back department. And I'm sorry, Aram Saka doesn't make the cuts, but that is my personal opinion. And on to our mystery man, <laughs> Tyre Malasha. He has been greatly missed in the left back position due to our lack of squad depth, with the main man Luxor being out and also the backup being out in left back. It has forced Erite and Hagsan to be starting his right backs there and often Sofian Amrabat. So, me personally, I think Malash has been unlucky this season. I think he had an injury preseason and he had surgery, but the surgery was always be botched. This is from the news I'm hearing. I'm not sure if it's 100%. I, I I I endeavor you go online and check and confirm for yourself personally. So I think that it's the same case with Luxor. You get in a young, upcoming, high potential left back and keep in the squad because you know number one, Luxor is not going to play most of the games in the season. That means you have two backup and to improve depth in that particular position. Now with the two remaining defensive options in the squad being. Willie Kamwala and Johnny Evans. Well, Johnny Evans, he has planned to retire at the end of the season. That has him gone already. And Kamwala, I think you keep Kamwala and see how it develops the current season. He has been a spark at the defensive option. And he has the skill set, he has the speed, the size, he has the ability also. So I think you keep Kamwala and see how it develops. Also, the goalkeeping department is an easy issue because you obviously keep Aita by end there. Uh, you also keep Andre Onana. But although I do suggest or employ as Eritrea plays back goalkeeper more, and Onana this season has been, let's say he has been brilliant in the Premier League and he has struggled massively in the Champions League. So that's a definite keep. You keep Andre Onana and be built for the next season. So that's the end of the, the, um, the, the squad cuts of United's defensive department. I do employ you to subscribe for more so you can check out upcoming videos on squad cuts in the Mayfield department and in the attacking department. So please like, subscribe, push on notifications and peace.